Toyota's mobility robot was developed with a main focus on supporting short-range personal transportation. The mobility robot can stably negotiate steps and slopes and is equipped with an autonomous transportation function for indoor use and with a tracking function so that the robot can follow the user. You're bound to say it at least once during a two-week series on Japanese technology, so go ahead. Now's a good time. Domo origato, Mr. Roboto. This is a human being. The exoskeleton he's wearing is the robot under the Vanette Scuba University. It's called Hybrid Assistive Limb, HAL for short. And anyone who wears it has potential to lift up to ten times the weight they normally could. Voici la première femme bionique, Claudia Mitchell, 27 ans. Un bras artificiel à six moteurs, elle le commande uniquement par la pensée. Son cerveau envoie des signaux nerveux, ils sont captés par des électrodes et actionnent le mécanisme. Vous pensez peut-être qu'il n'y a rien d'excitant à atteindre un placard pour prendre une tasse à café Eh bien pour moi c'est génial de pouvoir faire ça. Ce sont les chercheurs de l'Institut de Chicago qui ont réussi cette prouesse. Et ils n'en sont pas à leur coup d'essai. Jesse Sullivan, lui, a perdu ses deux bras dans un accident de travail. Il a fait office de cobaye. Rencontre entre deux cyborgs. For nearly a month, 27-year-old Pierpaolo Petruzzello was the bionic man science fiction writers have long envisioned. Using only his mind to control a biomechanical hand connected to his nervous system. Four miniature electrodes were surgically implanted in what remained of his left arm. These electrodes helped him recognize and control the biomechanical hand. It's difficult to explain. I closed my eyes and repeated to myself, your hand does exist. It's there, it's in place. At a mental level, it's very stressing. I needed to concentrate. I needed silence. Then I said to myself, you can wiggle the fingers, you can pinch, you can clench a fist, you can open your hand, you can just do that.